Aladdin. One of, I'll be honest with you, slightly biased here, but one of my favourite games on the Mega Drive from when I was a kid. So, that may impact on the final score. It may not. Maybe I'll see it with a different outlook, but I love this game. And just seeing that menu, hearing that music, it takes me right back. We'll just have a look at options, because obviously I'm going to put that too easy. Or practice, should I say. Yeah, great game this. Brilliant. Some confusion around the name here. I was thinking for the A to Z, do I put it under D for Disney's Aladdin? Or A for Aladdin? Well, if I said to anyone, oh, did you ever play Aladdin on the Mega Drive? They're thinking of this. I'd never say, did you ever play Disney's Aladdin? And that is the reason I've settled upon A. So, just getting that out of the way now, before anyone comments, dude, why isn't this under D? That's why. Plus, it's my list, so whatever. Anyway, don't think I've ever watched this or not skipped this, but I'm obviously a bit more patient. As an adult, Agrabah Market. That music kicks in immediately. And you're immediately transported back. Just everything about it. Look at the animation. Look at how good it looks. I think that's really it. A slash and a apple toss. Oh, it feels great. Look at the animation from him walking across the hot coals. The step up in quality. Look at the camel that you jump on. Oh, it's all still so good. It just represented to me a quantum leap above what I'd played already on the Mega Drive at that time in terms of how it looked. It's so close to the Disney animation. The classic 1992 movie, of course. We're not going to talk about the monstrosity starring Will Smith. It really is holding up. I'm very happy to tell you. I know that this has recently just been re-released on the PlayStation 4 and the Switch and I'm guessing the Xbox One but I don't know um, in a double pack a HD sort of remaster in a double pack with the Lion King game which I also had on the Mega Drive it was not as good as this in fact it might well have been as good as this but it was just too hard whereas Aladdin was quite an easy platformer and it, it still comes across that way um, Lion King was very difficult. Um, maybe it'll feel different when I go back to it on this playthrough, but that's how it came across. Oops. Do you see what I mean though? Just how how good it feels to play. Or it, it, everything just feels as it should in a platformer with this. It, it really does. Quick combat, beautiful levels, great, great music. You know, it very closely captures what it was going for. So, think the extra lives, the um, genie heads, the sirens are on my end. Don't worry. Don't know what the little Abu head that I just collected gave me, but I'm sure it was good. Well, this guy has a shop, I remember that. There we go. So you can spend your gems you pick up, you see. Got some good things for sale, stranger. Come back anytime. Anyone who's never played Resident Evil 4, I'm not even going to explain that. And there you go, first level. Does it get better than that? Well, so far in the A to Z, I have to say, absolutely not. This Aero the Acrobat 2-ish, with the fruit machine endings to levels. 
and we lose. Oh well. Ah, we used to love these bonus levels where you're Abu and you've got to dodge the pots. If anyone remembers. This is so good. Sorry, Arrow the Acrobat 2, you've been very, very well and truly bested. This is so far quite easily the best game that we have uh, encountered. We used to love these levels. See how far we can get. Ah! Damn. Weren't really a nice try, but thank you, either way. Having escaped from the guards, Aladdin is approached by an ancient beggar. The desert. Oh, I used to love the music on this level. Oh, this brings back so many memories. I remember me and a, a friend from when this came back out, Richard Cunningham, sat in his bedroom, played through the entire game. I was probably about six, seven maybe. Good, good times. It takes you back and it really does stand the test of time. I can see why Disney, probably looking at the back catalogue, thought, you know what, if we're going to put some games out, start with Aladdin. Because this is just great. Look at the animation on him and just consider how old the game is. So, shouldn't have gone that way. There are a couple of times you can kind of go back on yourself on this level, I remember, to get gems and... Um, I have to go up the spine, don't I? And then up the trees. Yeah, you get gems and checkpoints and whatnot. And on this one you have to find the pieces for the scarab as well. And on some levels you have to find, like, uh, magical flutes and... Quite a lot of collectibles. I don't remember it being a particularly long game. It's definitely one, again, I've said this about a few, but it is one I will come back to and finish on the channel. It's uh, too good for a mere 15 minutes, that's for sure. I'm delighted it's held up as well as it has. Iago! You just don't you just don't know sometimes returning to games that you love what as a kid if they're gonna be what they were in your mind's eye or if they've got substantially worse and you know obviously far more impressive games are out now but the fun of the gameplay with this it's it's all still there it's not lost any of that and that's a really impressive thing to say because some of the games we've played you, you know deep down you'd have loved it when you were a kid. Oh, God, I didn't get that. But, it, but it's just not stood the test of time. Whereas, this absolutely has. Normal life's low. Just little touches like that with Abu jumping on that fella's chest. There we go. All the scarabs collected. If I remember rightly, I think the next level... Um, has a boss so we'll do the next level we'll see the boss well done street rat I remember him in the film wasn't he actually Jafar under a, spe under a potion spell yeah I'm pretty sure it was this level that has the um, the boss fight so we'll do that and then will come off and give it the review score that I have in my head. Might be a bit controversial, I don't know how many of them there will be, but I am... I'll save it, you'll see. Where do I go here? I'm missing something. Ah, oh, there we go, of course, it's got the magical ropes you have to go up on this level. You see you have to collect the magical flutes on this one. 
it's hard to believe that this is on the same system as the Adams Family game, you know, just going back to recent ones we've played, you know, a year or two years apart from that coming out, we've got this on the same system, which shows just what is possible with a bigger budget and bigger ambition. I'm sure Disney's money helped, obviously, but even still, it's very impressive for its age. Where we go here, I think we've got up. Oops, can't jump from these ropes directly to another. So we'll just have to do it that way. Okay. Go down the zip line. Oh, it feels good, guys. It really does. No different. You know, it just shows class is permanent, regardless of age. If it was fun to play then, it still can be now. Make no mistake about that. Oh no. First death? Even the little scenes like that though. Just great animation. Compared to uh, some games of the era. So we're gonna go down. I know I know that when you fight the boss is like in the top right, I'm sure. You kinda go up to the top and then go to the right. So, I'm assuming that's where this is going to take me. And then you go across, go across to the right. Um, and then up. Here he is, little knife throwing maverick, nothing particularly difficult but just thought we'd get to the boss, it always feels like a good place to end these. If I remember right, you can just literally stand in front of him because it deflects his, you see, deflects his knives. <laughs> and there we go, Aladdin, or Disney's Aladdin, fantastic. And still fantastic. <laughs>